at Featherston Castle today. This is the first decent find. It's a 1914 badge of some sort. I'd like to think it was German, but um, I'm not sure. There was a German POW camp here uh, in both wars. But either way, it's definitely something military, I would imagine. That's a very nice find. Here we go, it looks like a coin of some sort. Very banky, crusty as hell. Reasonable depth, but uh, won't be getting a date off that one. This is a strange one, we've been digging modern pennies down to about five inches. And then here's a Victorian penny, not more than three. I thought I'd found my first gold coin. In an extremely good condition. Looks quite authentic, but unfortunately, it's a button. So that's a bit of a bummer. Give a great signal though. It's a George V half penny. In reasonable condition. Can't see the date on there, it'll be early 1900s. Definitely something in there. That's the fella. Not that. Looks like that's been some sort of brooch or badge or something. I'll give it a clean up, I'll show you at the end. Oh. No. Balls. I thought that was a hammered coin. <laughs> That's the second time I've been caught out. I could have sworn that was a hammered coin. I think it's just some sort of badge or something, or like button cover. Yeah, it doesn't look like a hammered. This might be the first silver of the day. It is. It's early Victoria. Shilling. Which is nice. 1883. Just coming away. So that literally is the last dig of the day. Excellent. So then this is the summary of finds. Modern two pences, modern one pences, half pence, a ten pence. These are farthings, half pennies. Modern pound coin, 10 pence, 20 pence. Either a pen knife or a shaving knife, I'm not quite sure which one. A 2 2 bullet. A lead headless man, obviously an army man. A hair slide. Uh, some blank shells. I don't think that one's off a of blank. These ones are certainly off blanks. These ones haven't gone off. So they were a blank blank. They've been fired, you can see the centre pin there has been depressed but there's obviously nothing happened at the end there that's I think a George II penny don't know whether you make out any detail on there it's very old but the old pennies uh, in pretty bad condition old threepenny bits I think that's a musket ball that hasn't been pressed properly whoever tried to make a musket ball assuming that was the um, goal, made a total balls of it. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe out of a battery or something, I'm not entirely sure. A cufflink or a button that I actually thought was a gold coin when I first unearthed it. So that got me quite excited. Uh, another little button or badge or something. It looks like King George slaying the dragon. Not entirely sure. A badge or brooch of some kind. This thing here that I thought was German, I was kind of hoping it was a cross of iron or something, but I think it's actually made of lead or something. It's got a crown, a W, and 1914 on. 
quite heavy. So if anybody has any ideas, they can let us know what that is. I like the look of it though. Looks quite German. So that was the first, more, more or less the first dig. I did have one test dig, with unearthed a little manky button. That was more or less the first dig. This was the very last dig. So the two best finds came with the first and the last dig. This is an 1883 shilling. I've just given it a quick clean up with a toothbrush and soapy water. It's come up quite nice. I think the most detail is on the on the back of it here. 1883. That's a nice find. Beautiful surroundings. A few finds. There's obviously more there. So hopefully I'll get the chance to go again. Now before I sign off, I'd just like to thank Steve um, for inviting me up to go on that lovely site. Um, if you want to check his channel out, it's got some excellent shooting videos. He's a real master of his craft. It's called Field Sports 1. I'm going to put a link to it in the description. So thanks again, Steve.